Module 2, Maritime Security Policies. This course provides an introduction to the relevant international conventions, codes, legislation, and regulations associated with maritime security. The many resolutions and conventions that have been adopted by the International Maritime Organization in order to prevent, deter, and mitigate threats to security and maritime transportation are discussed, providing a historical perspective on the development of and the objectives within the ISPS code. In addition to a discussion of the ISPS code, the student will also learn about national maritime security measures, including the United States Maritime Transportation Security Act of 2002, MTSA, the Customs Trade Partnership Against Terrorism, CTPAT, and the Container Security Initiative, CSI. In order to fully appreciate the complexities of these maritime security policies, the program will provide key definitions and clarifications of terms found in SOLAS Chapter 11-2, Regulation 1, and in the ISPS Code Part A, Section 2. Finally, the student will hear about the potential legal implications of action or non-action by the Port Facility Security Officer and Ship Security Officer, as well as the requirements associated with the handling of sensitive security-related information and communications. The objectives of the ISPS Code are simple. Number one, to establish an international framework involving cooperation between contracting governments, government agencies, local administrations, and the shipping and port industries to detect security threats and to take preventative measures against security incidents affecting ships or port facilities used in international trade. Number two, to establish the respective roles and responsibilities of the contracting governments, government agencies, local administrations, and the shipping and port industries at the national and international level for ensuring maritime security. Three, to ensure the early and efficient collection and exchange of security-related information. Four, to provide a methodology for security assessments so as to have in place plans and procedures to react to changing security levels. And five, to ensure confidence that adequate and proportionate maritime security measures are in place. The United States, for example, has developed the Maritime Transportation Security Act, MTSA, as well as the Customs Trade Partnership Against Terrorism, CTPAT, and the Container Security Initiative as definitive combatants against potential threats posed to the transportation infrastructure. These legislative acts and regulations are part of a comprehensive response to threats directed at the critical transportation infrastructure of the U.S. The intended purpose of these aggressive actions on the part of the United States government is to provide appropriate national security for the protection of the infrastructure and to facilitate the implementation of the international counterpart, the ISPS code, by providing a platform on which to build impenetrable security systems that incorporate both national and international standards.